Today, Vladimir Putin was issued a dire warning about his country's war in Ukraine, as new footage of a Ukrainian ambush on a column of Russian tanks emerged. The devastating and accurate artillery fire destroyed a column of Russian tanks moving through the eastern portion of Ukraine. The tank column was brutally ambushed, resulting in the total destruction of at least one tank. The 54th Mechanized Brigade's K-2 unit released a video showing the attack destroying Russian tanks one by one in Marinka, Donetsk. close-up portion of the footage depicts a T-72B tank engulfed in flames and billowing smoke following an artillery strike. The tank's ruins are revealed at the conclusion of the video that was shared on social media. The Ukraine Weapons Tracker, which monitors the war's battlefronts, tweeted, The K-2 unit of the 54th Mechanized Brigade utilized accurate artillery fire to destroy a Russian T-72B pattern tank in Marinka, Donetsk Oblast. The K-2 unit mockingly referred to the Russian invaders as uninvited tourists in a statement. It stated, We continue to show you another journey of uninvited tourists, roaming the deserted streets on the outskirts of Marinka, Donetsk region. A navigator of nearby tourists drove heavy forbidden vehicles through the city's narrow streets, where the guys from the K-2 reconnaissance group, with the assistance of other famous workers, performed scheduled maintenance. The ambush comes as the war in Ukraine enters its fourth month. The latest intelligence report from the UK Ministry of Defense revealed that, despite Russia's advances in Donbass and Luhansk, none of the strategic objectives have been achieved. However, the Ministry of Defense in London warned that for Russia to achieve any form of success, it will require a continued massive investment of manpower and equipment, which is likely to take a substantial amount of time. It added that Russia could take complete control of Luhansk within the next two weeks. Meanwhile, NATO reportedly will increase high readiness troops to well over 300,000 in what NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg called the biggest defense overhaul since the Cold War, in response to Russia's continued war in Ukraine. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said Monday that NATO will increase high readiness troops to well over 300,000 in what he called the biggest defense overhaul since the Cold War, in response to Russia's continued war in Ukraine. Stoltenberg said in a press conference in Brussels Monday that NATO plans to provide prepositioned equipment and stockpiles of military supplies across Europe, increased air defense, strengthen command and control, and pre-assigned troops to defend against Russia as its war in Ukraine entered its fourth month. The pledge represents a 650% increase from the 40,000 troops NATO currently has in its response force. Stoltenberg did not say where the additional troops will be deployed, indicating a plan is set to be devised over NATO's three-day summit in Madrid, beginning Tuesday. NATO allies consider Russia the most significant and dire threat to their security, Stoltenberg said. Military increases will require significant expenditures, Stoltenberg said, arguing a target of 2% gross domestic product towards defense spending should be considered a floor, not a ceiling. Through new military technology, including drones, Stoltenberg said the plan for Ukraine, which is not a member of NATO, is to transition them from Soviet-era military equipment to NATO equipment. Last week, Stoltenberg urged NATO countries to continue providing military and humanitarian support to Ukraine, telling the German newspaper Bild im Sonntag, nobody knows when the war will end, but that it could last years. According to Reuters, 47,000 people have so far been killed in the war, while 13,000 suffered non-fatal injuries, 400 went missing and at least 15 million were displaced. 
The war has also led to the destruction of 2,300 buildings and approximately $600 billion in property damage, according to Reuters. $350 billion. That's how much NATO countries will have committed by the end of the year to defense since making a defense protection pledge in 2014, in response to Russia's invasion of Crimea, Stoltenberg said. In 2021, eight ally countries met a target set in 2006 to spend at least 2% of their gross domestic product, GDP, on defense, up from three in 2014. There are 19 other member countries set to hit the spending target by 2024, and an additional five that have plans to hit it afterward. This year marked the eighth consecutive year of increased defense spending across European allies and Canada, Stoltenberg said. More defense pledges at the Madrid summit this week. In addition to the increase in troops, Stoltenberg said the summit will include deliberations on a 1 billion euros, 1.05 billion dollars innovation fund for emerging technologies, along with defense support for non-NATO countries Georgia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Moldova, Mauritania, and Tunisia. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky will also be joining the summit, Stoltenberg said as quoted by Forbes.com. The Russian invasion of Ukraine was a shockwave for Europe. For much of the last eight decades democracies on the continent have benefited from a peace dividend. Elected leaders spent lavishly on social safety nets while largely ignoring that the world remains a dangerous place. The creation of the European Union expedited pacifism. Images of the destruction of Ukraine changed everything. 